Outside holds the title for the longest running, largest game ever made. And it's been around forever, 13.8 billion seasons give or take. But until about 3.5 billion seasons ago on the Earth server at least, there were no players. The game was nothing but a test server for a few developers, testing out the new physics engine, throwing different elements together and seeing what they could get. Then finally, after billions of seasons of emptiness, the first player spawned in. Um, hello? I've... I've come to test the Earth server? I signed up to be part of the pre-alpha? Hello? Wait, what the? Oh, hey man. Did you sign up for the pre-alpha too? You just spawned out of me. Oh, no way, there's some messed up glitch you're experiencing there, bro. Oh, hello there, gentlemen. I uh, signed up for the pre-alpha testing on the Earth server. Oh man, we've got new players spawning out of us left, right and centre. Uh, guys, if I can just interject, hello, my name is Salius. Um, I actually have a really big failure of things growing out of me, so if we could possibly get in touch with the devs at this time, then that would be immensely helpful. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I can't get a menu. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry off, this is no, awful. No, 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 I want to leave, I want to leave, I want to leave, quick, log me out, log me out. I really don't like this game. Who the hell designed this game? The single-celled organism took the first step in creating the game you know today. But its sacrifices were large, and its playthrough basic and boring. This is so boring. But how did players get into the game after a seeming eternity of nothingness? Sir, I've got a game here that might interest you. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's um, it's pretty basic, but the engine it runs off seems to have a lot of potential. It's called um, physics. Right. Well, how's it work? Well, basically, there's stuff, right? Right. But the stuff it. it combines itself to create more stuff with other stuff, which is bigger stuff than the stuff that already was stuff. Sounds mildly interesting. We could run a building game off of it. Craft. No. Need something more. But you see the stuff, it combines into bigger stuff, which is called elements, and all the different elements, when they're combined together with different things, they do different stuff, and they create these celestial bodies called planets, which pull things towards them, and it's Obviously, sir, if you saw this, you'd see how infinite the possibilities are. How many players? Right now, um, none. It's just been used by a few studios as a test engine. That's good. That's good, actually. Yes. Uh, th these elephants? Uh, elements, but... Right, right, whatever. Um, if they were arranged in the right pattern or whatever, could they self-replicate? one specific structure. I'll get to work on that, but I'd say yes, in theory. Buy the game. Put out a call for alpha testers, and before long, we'll have Tridians playing. Okay. And what are we going to call our new game, sir? And so the game was picked up by Universal Studios? Copyright. Universe Studios. And before long, billions had signed up. Everybody wanted to experience a game run by the powerful new physics engine. What they failed to realise, however, is that each player was only programmed to have the same uniform skin and be identical in code to all other players. Rioting ensued. Well, I don't know how close you can get to rioting when you're a single-celled organism with so little control you might as well be in a VR experience rather than playing an actual game. Oh my god, where is my body? The devs had even been clever enough to include no menus, with no way to log out and no way to directly contact the devs. Not that players ever stopped trying that one. Dear devs, please grant me a thousand subscribers by Christmas, thank you. It was a fully immersive experience. But, like high-level player Jeff Goldblum would eventually say billions of seasons later, Life, uh, finds a way. And life did find a way. And after about another billion seasons of luring people into a boring and basic game with no objective but to act as a vessel for even more players, one player changed. Um, so there's something strange here. What's that? One of the players, they're coded weirdly. I think they're different from the others. What? Yeah, their subgenetic pathways are different. Not much different, but different. Someone's done that without authorization. I, I guess. 
Right. One of the players in my beautiful game has mutated. Who patched that? Whose patch is that? Uh, sir, it's me who does uh, patch, yes? You see, uh, people don't like game. People say game is shit. I put a new player, people like game. You, sir, are out of line. Oh, 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 wait one second, sir, because our ratings just went up. People love this, sir. Whilst you might not want to admit it, it's all down to him. Looks like you got lucky, kid. Ooh. But pull anything like that again, and I will not hesitate to remove you from this team. Is that understood? Yeah, still, just still, still. What are you all staring at? Get back to work. We have new avatars to roll out. And so evolution was born, and from then on, the frequency of new player types only increased over the seasons, their complexity ever growing and their abilities ever changing. Until finally, one day, far down the line of evolution chains, we get to you. 40,000 seasons ago, the modern human was released into the game, and our intelligence grew and we kept leveling exponentially faster and faster and faster and faster, and, and now the devs are realising we're out of hand and they're throwing doomsday events at us left, right and centre, and it's no wonder because we'll be unlocking the space expansion soon and there's no knowing that the devs even finished that because it's mostly just a big vast expanse of nothing. Nothing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is chapter one on evolution by me, Charles Dar Sam Bram. Yes. So, I realise we've only scratched the surface with evolution, so this video is also going to need a part two, three, four, five. So, like this video if you want to see that, uh, those, and subscribe and comment down below any other video ideas you'd like to see. Also, go follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of video updates and fun stuff on there. Until then, enjoy your playthrough, keep playing, and above all, Fuck's sake. Honestly, I don't have the graphics card for this. Can't wait for the RTX 3080. What? Oh crap. Fuck. <laughs>